Hey there viewers and welcome back to Planet Cryos. What should you do with your old replaced hard drive? Here are some options. All right, so what should you do with an old hard drive uh, that you that came out of your PC or you're getting rid of a PC? Um, what should you do with them? Well, if you have an, an older hard drive, a mechanical hard drive, uh, being whether it's a you know a 2.5 inch um, a mechanical hard drive that came out of like a laptop or a 3.5 inch okay that came out of a desktop okay so that's the size difference right there and uh, you have a couple of different options if you pull it out of a a um, computer and you replaced it with either a larger mechanical hard drive because just because of storage shortage uh, then maybe there's not too much you want to do with it but if you replace it with an SSD maybe you want to take one of these hard drives and use it as extra storage so maybe your SSD is just for your boot drive and for all your programs uh, that's the way I actually started so when I built my first PC I started out with a 250 gig um, SSD uh, it was actually an MVME M.2 drive uh, and I had this as a storage so all I had was on my SSD I had just my programs and that was my boot drive so everything was quick to load uh, it was quick to, to boot up and start and and get running but I kept everything all my pictures and videos were on the mechanical hard drive now over the course of time and doing more videos and taking pictures and and, and monkeying around with a lot of stuff you'll start to notice just how slow this is in comparison. So eventually I upgraded to all SSD. Now I got two M.2s plus two um, uh, 2.5 inch uh, SSDs. Um, so now that that's one option, right? You can use it as storage. And the second option where you can use um, a mechanical hard drive is also for um a backup right you can use the acronis true image uh true image and uh you can do your backups on there now i still currently i now i have all my backups on the pc plus i have two offline backups that i i hook up only when i do those uh periodically uh usually it's about once a month i do my offline backup and uh, just so i have i'm, I'm only about a month uh, off if something happens or less so I have one mechanical hard drive uh, still at uh, um, two terabyte and then I have uh, a regular uh, 2.5 inch SSD that's a one terabyte which I store uh, basically all my programs and uh, uh, operating system on so uh, yeah so you can uh, use the mechanical hard drive as a backup if you can't afford the larger SSDs they're still a little bit expensive they can be anyway so um, yeah so you can uh, you can use the uh, 2.5 inch SSDs which is uh, pretty fast they're about four to five times faster depending on how old your mechanical hard drive is um, and also, you know, and then moving to something that's even faster is the M.2. Wait for that. There we go. The M.2 uh, SSD. Now, this is the Evo 960, as you just saw. And this will um, outperform uh, the mechanical hard drive, obviously, and the, um, uh, the uh, regular SSD 2.5 inch. 
All right, so now the second or third thing on which you can uh, do with your old uh, um, hard drives, whether it be the mechanical or an SSD. Like I said, you could be upgrading in storage size, so maybe now you have an old SSD. Maybe it's even, you know, a five, six-year-old SSD. It's still going to be faster than your mechanical hard drive, I guarantee it, unless it's got a problem, which very few uh, SSD do, SSDs do do have an issue so if you have a 2.5 inch or an NVMe now this NVMe is actually an older one it's a little bit slower it's still I mean it's still pretty fast uh, for boot time um, or read speeds it's still pretty fast now the the write speeds is a little slower but it, it, it's not that bad um, but maybe you just you know, want to take one of these and you can use it in another PC. You know, upgrade a different PC that's got a mechanical hard drive. All you got to do is use a Cronus and do a, a quick clone and boom, you're ready to go. And it, it'll boot a lot faster. I kid you not. Um, I've done quite a few older PCs being myself, uh, my, my, uh, a few of my relatives um, have all gone from mechanical to the SSD uh, just the 2.5 inch and um, you're talking about load speeds of the old ones were for just booting up your computer you're talking like from a minute and a half to two minutes all the way down somewhere between 15 to 25 maybe 30 seconds at the most uh, I haven't seen the 30 seconds, but I'm just giving a little little bit of a cushion there. Um, just depending on how many programs you have, how many startup programs you have, uh, it's running in the background and all that. But you should, it's going to be a significant difference. It's going to be night and day, I kid you not. So uh, going to one of these uh, uh, 2.5 inches, like I said, it's going to be about four to five times faster depending on uh, your old mechanical hard drive. Now, if you're going to an NVMe, you can't with a lot of older computers and especially uh, store-bought ones, uh, especially the older ones. But if you're able to go to an M.2, uh, I mean, you can buy a PCI uh, Express card and use one of these. But if you can go to one of these, now you got to be careful because sometimes the BIOSes won't recognize it even though you're going and buying an express card. But uh, now you're talking about four to five times faster jumping from an SSD to that. Now you're talking, what, eight times faster than a mechanical hard drive. So uh, that would be, I would say, the second or third option you can do with these old hard drives. The fourth option, sell it or give it away. Just the, the hard drive itself. Now, you have the other option as in destroying it. Now, I wouldn't recommend destroying pretty much any SSD, but a mechanical hard drive, <clears throat> uh, other than it's failing, if it's still operational but you just don't want it anymore, unless you're confident there's no data on there that anybody can steal from you or you don't want out there you got to be careful so um, one thing you have to do if you're gonna sell it or give it away at minimum format the drive and do the uh, command prompt clean procedure I have a video for that uh, if you want to check it out, there's two separate videos, uh, one for the format, which I'll post right here. Actually, it's going to be over here right now. And then the second video um, is going to be how to run the clean procedure through the command, command prompt, which is going to be right here right now for the link. So go ahead and check out those two videos if you're going to sell it or give it away. Or even if you're just going to throw it away. Even an SSD, mechanical hard drive, or an M.2. For all three of those, make sure you watch those two videos and learn how to do that before you just chuck it in the garbage. There might be something on there that you just don't remember, so just check it out. I can actually hear in the background. I don't know if that's picking up, but I hear some uh, fireworks or something going off in there. And I know this camera, this mic can pick it up, so it's actually kind of funny. So, um, yeah, with that said... 
uh, those are the things you can actually do with the um, with all your old hard drives and uh, you know what you do with them is up to you all right now also I do want to mention just before I let you go here is this also applies to running the uh, doing the format and doing the clean procedure also applies to the portable hard drives now this is one of, this is actually my first uh, portable hard drive that I ever had is a Western Digital 500 gigabyte um, it's a 2.0 speed, runs super slow. You're only talking about, I think, a max of about 30 uh, megabytes a second. Very, very slow when you're talking about 500 to 550 megabytes a second for one of these guys. Uh, a mechanical one, uh, it just depends. Uh, I do have on here, this runs at about 84 for the reads and the writes. Um, so it's a little bit faster. Uh, this one I actually have on here, uh, the writes are 213 and the reads are 209. So this is a little bit faster one, uh, believe it or not. So, uh, in, like I said, these M.2s, these run, um, uh, depends, it, it really depends. They vary, uh, the MVMEs vary all the way from like, I think like 1700 up to 3500. But now we're into the generation uh, four, which we're talking, it's going to be possible to go up to 8,000, um, but that's in due time. But like I said, that applies to these um, uh, mechanical or S SDs uh, for, the, you know, if they're portable. And don't forget these 2.5 inch, uh, you can actually use these for a portable as long as you get one of these cables. I have these in my old video um, uh, where you can get these, but um, these are all on Amazon about five, six, seven bucks or something like that. But you can always just plug these in and use these as a portable when you go ahead and you replace your old hard drive for, um, because you need more storage. You can take one of these, you can buy one of these, put them together and you can use these as your now portable hard drive. Oh, and hey, if you're using one of these M.2s, if you're replacing it or you just buy one for extra storage, don't forget you can buy one of these enclosures, uh, an M.2 enclosure. Uh, make sure it's either can do both M.2, uh, just a regular SATA and MVME or just MVME or just SATA, but make sure you know what you have and what it's going in. So this this will be your little thumb drive. Right, I showed this in the past video. I'm trying to make it focus. So this is uh, Silverstone, made by Silverstone. This is just for SATA alone. Now this is an MVME, this will not work in this. And that's why I have another enclosure. I took this out just to show you guys. But I have another enclosure here, okay, uh, I believe this is made by, uh, actually I don't know who this is made by right now, um, but anyway, uh, this is meant for M.2 uh, MVME, so this would just uh, go into here, and this whole entire thing would go in the enclosure, and this is uh, USB Type C. So that's pretty cool. So this will run um, only, it won't run at its max speeds because this does not support it. You need A, the device that will support more than 10 uh, gigabits per second. Um, I forget what it's got to be, uh, so forgive me on that. But um, And you need a PC that will support the speed of this through the USB. This does not but it will get up there, um, I think, around a 1,000 uh, megabytes per second. So uh, it's pretty quick. It's, it's quick enough for doing file transfer. So I just want to share that quick. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. And I just want to thank you for watching if you stayed with me till the end. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button to show me that you uh, enjoyed the content. Or just be nice and click the like button the like button anyways and um just showing your love and support 
and go ahead and make a comment down below if you wish uh, I will I try to answer everybody um, and if you have a question or something and uh, also share the content please and uh, hopefully I can get out there a little bit more uh, I know it's far in between when I'm making videos now but I've got other priorities so uh, I'm trying to get one out there every two or three weeks and uh, see where it goes from there and until next time guys take care